Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing my first mukbang, mukbang, bong, whatever. So, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back, fam. What's up? So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about online ordering of wigs while trying to eat. And I normally don't eat and talk, so this is going to be interesting. So, I ordered a wig by Sensational a couple years ago. Paid $50 for it, including shipping. A while, a couple of days ago, I went to the view spot store. I seen it for $70. So, do your research when you're buying wigs. Because you can find it cheaper online you can in the store. And like that shop, because that wig's been out for a minute, and they're trying to sell it for $70 in the view supply. Girl, bye. There's this wig I'm going to review on my channel in a couple weeks. Instead of looking online for it first, I was in Beauty World, and I just happened to run across it, right? It said like $59 in my package. And he's like, oh, we got a discount going. Um, let me see how much it is. So rang it up, it's $39. bad but as I had bought it I looked online seen shit for 18 and 21 dollars so you know who pissed me all because I didn't do my research like I normally would have and then you gotta know your labels you gotta know what freedom part is what Swiss lace is because <clears throat> and now synthetic wigs have Swiss lace and a 4x4 parting which means it's a closure it's kind of like a frontal kind of but it has like the open space where you can part the wig anywhere you like and I personally like that because I want me a wig that can do things like a frontal you feel me Like, I don't want no shifting or no ropes taking part. I want to part it where I want it to go. So, you know, back in the day, beauty supplies, they didn't sell wigs. Hold on. They didn't get the wigs that was being sold online. Like, I don't remember as many wig websites as there air is now so you know I feel like beauty supply stores they're trying to stay in the know or whatever but don't overprice me for no wig that I can get online like that's crazy who y'all think I'm gonna pay for it I'm looking tight I already use wings to like pour something. Got right here. It left at 552 to come bring it to me. Girl called me at 618. Talking about she was lost. In this day and age, how are you lost? You got GPS. And then. But talking about you lost. I look in the in my thing. She just had me a pizza. Where my wings at? So it is now 7:30 ish. The manager had to bring my wings, and I was so close to canceling. Like, how do y'all not have my wings with my pizza? That don't make sense. I don't know how to eat chicken. I need some water. My mouth burning. Mm. Got my water, y'all. So, when you're ordering for Wiz, <coughs> you gotta remember people to stop card. 
don't really rock the weird the wigs how they're supposed to be so they do look weird so if you feel like you know i can rock this rock it oh you like my necklace is the hansu sign i'm gonna tell y'all what that means but i've been wanting this for the longest but like don't let that deter you from getting the wig because i've seen some ugly wigs on stock cars once i got it the wig was bomb it's just they know how to rock it honey but if you don't rock it rock it you feel me okay so when i buy wigs online i like to get the straight wigs because like i feel like with curly i need to see it i need to feel how it's already feeling before i buy it because you never know like what you're gonna get body wave water wave textures because you can wet it and go and it can still look good right and depending on the hair as well like you gotta know your limits know how long you want to keep it for like if it's a special occasion don't wear it till it's time to you go out and like the longest wig I bought is like a 20 and it's 22 it came right above my butt yeah. so that lasts me a pretty good time for real um I've had it I had it for like two years before I ended up cutting it I was just cutting the ends so that was my favorite way of I'm going to say sensational. Hands down. Because the first wig I bought from Sensational was the Retro Wig. And I got, they came out with the West Lace. Yeah. Like, really, West Lace. This is like a lace frontal wig, not no synthetic wig. That's why I liked it. So I like wigs that look natural and not like it's synthetic. Uh, just because I bought a synthetic wig don't mean you gotta know it's synthetic, you feel me? When you go on wig shopping, look at wig reviews. Whether it's on the website, whether it's from a YouTuber, read the hair facts. Because that will tell you all you need to know. And I like, need to find people that's not getting paid to review the wigs for for your for an honest opinion. That's not biased, like me. I'm buying it with my own money, you know. I'm gonna tell you how it is, what it ain't, what it's gonna be. You need an honest opinion on a wig. Like you can't just like, oh, you know, they wore so good. Let me try it. No. Look and see how other people feel about the wig. You know, it sounds cliche, but it's the truth, you know.